Mr. Clever's invention. Today, little Miss Giggles has invited Mr. Grumble around for a cup of tea. Mm. <laughs> Do you believe in all this alien business, Mr. Grumble? <laughs> what alien business? There have been several sightings of mysterious objects flying over Misterland. <laughs> it has even been on the news. <laughs> Those TV reporters must take us for total fools. <gasps> oh, look at that! <laughs> <gasps> Quick, come inside, Miss Giggles. <laughs> I've always dreamed of meeting a real Martian. <laughs> oh, Mr. Yeah. Clever! Hello, everyone. Do you think it's funny scaring people like that, Mr. Clever? You're looking at a unique invention. Yet another brainwave from yours truly. This is the fastest machine in the whole of Misterland. Come in, I'll show you round. Oh. <gasps> oh. Look. This is the planet Mars, which is millions of miles from Misterland. If I press this button, up, I'll be on Mars in several hours. Are you making fun of us, Mr. Clever? You are saying that if we press this button... No! <laughs> Let me out of here. Oh. oh! We have made it! We are on Mars. You can't see a thing, it's all dark. Yes, well, huh? now that we're here, uh, let's have a look around. Are you sure you won't come, Mr. Grumble? No way, I'm staying here. <laughs> As you like. See you later, Mr. Grumble. <laughs> hey, wait for me. Hang on. <laughs> this is spooky. What a strange object. Hmm, <laughs> it's only an old spring. Now, don't talk nonsense, Mr. Grumble. I'm absolutely convinced that we have landed amongst the people who are light years ahead of us. Our first object is to make contact with the local inhabitants. Oh, over there! I see someone! Oh. <laughs> oh, success! I just knew this planet was inhabited. Drat, it has disappeared. It looked like a worm to me. <laughs> Oh, don't be silly, Miss Giggles. It was a real, genuine Martian, that's for sure. I know all about them. Stop where you are. Oh, <laughs> Martians! Oh, we're under attack. I arrest you in the name of the law. Stop, Mr. Grumble. Oh, I want to go home to Mr. Land, to my house. <laughs> oh! <gasps> oh! Oh! Oh, mercy, please. We come in peace. We don't mean any harm. Mr. Clever, Mr. Grumble, little Miss Giggles, what are you doing here? <laughs> huh? Visiting Mars, PC Whistle. <laughs> what are you doing here? <laughs> You're visiting Mars? Uh, thanks to this invention, yet another of my brainwaves, we have covered the millions of miles between Mr. Land and the planet Mars in just three hours and 33 seconds precisely. <laughs> But you're on the public rubbish dump, Mr. Clever. Less than a mile from your house. <laughs> Three hours to go one mile. Oh, what a genius you are, Mr. Clever. I must have made a mistake somewhere. And I'm very glad you did. <laughs>
Little Miss Chatterbox finds her calling. Little Miss Chatterbox is holding up the queue as usual. For a really good stew, the onions are vital. Mm. No, they're essential. Have mm. you been waiting long, Mr Funny? <laughs> oh, no, not long, Little Miss Sunshine. Only half an hour. Only half an hour? Ah, but I know hundreds of recipes. Well, I refuse to wait a second longer. But you have only just arrived, Mr Grumpy. So what? Furthermore, the other day I had the idea of writing a cookery book. You see, it isn't enough simply having the right ingredients to make a good meal. No, cooking is like music. It's a question of proportion. I've had enough of this, little Miss Chatterbox. Oh, hello, Mr Grumpy. I'm sure you would buy my cookery book. No. Go away and tell someone else about your stupid book. Oh. Oh, Miss Chatterbox, do come along with me. I think I have just the job for you. At the Tittletown Theatre, there was much excitement as everyone rehearsed for tonight's show. <laughs> oh, goody, learn. I think I'll take a basket of cakes round to... I, um, uh... uh I think I'll take a basket of cakes round to my poor grandmother. You see, she has caught a nasty cold and is tucked up in bed. Mr Happy, please tell the prompter to be quiet. I do know oh. my lines. Hmm. Well, it doesn't sound like it. And the wolf, he should have a deep voice. Ha, ha, ha. Oh, goody. Lunch. Are you saying I speak through my nose? Oh. oh, please, everyone. The performance is this evening. We have no time to lose. Who's there? It's Little Red Riding Hood, Grandmother. Who's... Who's... Just lift the latch. I am too weak to get up. Oh, be quiet, little Miss Chatterbox. You're not the star of the show. What are you doing? And if that's the way it's going to be, you can find someone else. What shall we do now? Oh, Miss Chatterbox, would you like to take Miss Star's place? Oh, yes! Oh, yes, I've always wanted to play this. I refuse to continue with someone who is always butting in. You can find someone else. Well, really, no one around here knows their lines. <laughs> what do you mean, I know my lines? Yes, but you don't know how to speak in a deep voice. A wolf must have a deep voice. Oh, all right, you play the wolf. I'm oh. coming with you. People are already queuing outside to come and see the play tonight. What can we do? <laughs> Who's out there? It's Little Red Riding Hood, Grandmother. Just lift the latch. I'm too weak to get up. Oh, Grandmother, what big ears you have. All the better to hear you with, my child. Oh, Grandmother, what big teeth you have. Oh, the better to eat you with. Mm. You will wait to congratulate little Miss Chatterbox, won't you? I mean, wasn't she magnificent? Huh. When it comes to talking... And talking... And more talking... Well done. Our friends think you were remarkable. They all want to congratulate you. Yes, you were. Excellent. <laughs> Brilliant. What happened? Did the cat get your tongue? Oh, I've lost my voice. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
Mr. Skinny's incredible bet. Every morning, Mr. Skinny jumps out of bed, runs to the bathroom and weighs himself. Oh, no! And each morning, Mr. Skinny feels a little sadder. He would love to have a hearty appetite. Oh. Mr. Skinny spends most of his time on his own. I know why no one ever asks me around. It's because I never eat anything. Oh, what wouldn't I give to be friends with Mr. Greedy? Oh. Hello? Oh, hello, little Miss Scatterbrain. Lunch? Oh, I'd love to come. Yes, all right. See you later. Oh, uh, come in. Oh, no! Oh, what's wrong, Mr. Uh, uh, Greedy? <laughs> Little Miss Scatterbrain didn't really mean to invite me. It was Mr. Greedy she wanted. It's not fair. <laughs> Mr. Skinny? Mr. Skinny? Oh. Yes, Little Miss Trouble? Mr. Greedy says you are so skinny that you could slip between a wall and a poster. Wait a minute, will you? <laughs> oh. Well, Mr. Greedy is right, but it's not fair of him to make fun of me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Greedy, since you think I'm so very thin, I bet you that by tomorrow morning I will be bigger than you. Goodbye, Mr. Greedy. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's lunchtime, and Mr. Skinny is trying to eat twice as much as usual. Really? One miserable extra chip isn't going to make me bigger than Mr. Greedy. I know. Just this once, I think I'll have tea. So Mr. Skinny went to Little Miss Greedy's tea room for the first time in his life. Oh, there, Mr. Skinny. Eat that and you'll be big in no time. But I'm really not hungry. That will do, Mr. Skinny. If you want to get big, you will have to eat. Hmm. Hooray! I'm heavier! Hooray! Oh, no. I don't believe it. Oh, I'm no heavier. I'd better go and tell Mr. Greedy that the bet is up. Ooh, how fat you are. Ooh. What did you say, little Miss Contrary? I said, how fat you are. Oh, no. You always get things back to front, little Miss Contrary. I'm skinny. But you have just given me a great idea. I must do the opposite to win my bet. Mr Greedy was about to sit down to an enormous lunch when... It's your turn now, Mr Tickle. <laughs> oh, stop it, Mr Tickle. Someone off me. <laughs> and the next morning... Your turn, Mr Greedy. One? Oh, well done, Mr. Skinny. You are heavier than me. You are the winner. Oh, well, well, after all those tickles, I'm not hungry anymore. Mr. Creedy, I would like to ask you something. Why did you make fun of my being skinny? Me? I'd never do such a thing. Little Miss Trouble told me that. Oh, now I see this was just another one of her nasty tricks. Oh, maybe, but after all this activity, I could eat an ox. Oh, I know. Why don't you come round to my house and we'll have breakfast together, eh? Mr Skinny, I bet I finish my breakfast ages before you. You're on, Mr Greedy. Ready, Ooh, ready steady, steady go! go! <laughs> How greedy you are, Mr Greedy. How skinny you are, Mr. Skinny.
Little Miss Busy, DIY teacher. There, Doctor. I prepared the squeaky floor, as well as the sink, and checked the electrical wiring. Can I do anything else? Oh, I don't think so, Little Miss Busy. Oh, dear, oh, dear. What's wrong? I just hate having nothing to do. So many people in this town are useless with their hands. You could teach them. Good idea. I will give do-it-yourself lessons. <laughs> Mr. Lazy could certainly do with a few lessons from Little Miss Busy. And so could Mr. Pug. And <laughs> Mr. Dizzy. No. <laughs> oh, dear, Mr. Silly. <laughs> And finally, of course, Mr. Clumsy. Oh, <laughs> oh hello, Mr. Clumsy. Here, then. This is for you. <coughs> Thank you, Mr. Stamp. Tired of your fingers being all thumbs? Come and join the little Miss Busy's do-it-yourself school. Very well, Mr. Dizzy. Do come along. And now it's our turn. Oh, but where has he got to? Yoo-hoo! Mr. Bump! He was thirsty. Perhaps he has gone. <laughs> oh, nice carpet, Miss Busy. Now, I'm just going to check that you're all here. Mr. Clumsy. Oh, a present. Mr. Bump? Oh, 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 present. Mr. Lazy? Mr. Dizzy? Mr. Dizzy? But Peekaboo, it's me. Mr. Silly? I don't think he's here. Now, today we are going to build a hut in the garden. It's very simple. First of all, you have to build the framework. Oh. And then you concentrate on the roof. All that's left now is to put up the walls and the door. Oh, excuse me, Miss Busy, but there's nothing left for us to do. <laughs> that's what you think. Uh, Mr Bum, would you please come in and look round the house which I have just built? Now, you have all seen how a house is built. It's your turn to build it again. Oh, no. Oh, oh. Well then, little Miss Busy, how is your new school coming along? Your idea was simply wonderful, Dr Make You Well. My pupils are making excellent progress. <laughs> What are you doing, Mr. Dizzy? I'm watering the house to make it grow. Throw me up some nails. Mr. Silly, I think I'll take advantage of being up here to strengthen the roof. Ah, coming up. Well then, Doctor, aren't they wonderful, my little pupils? I'm so happy. I'll never have a minute's rest. <laughs> we will have to build and rebuild. Well done, everyone. Thank you, little Miss Busy. Thank you very, very much. <laughs> Thank you, little Miss Busy. <laughs>
Little Miss Chatterbox goes to sea town. Little Miss Chatterbox was running to catch the train to the sea. Oh, goodness. I really must hurry, otherwise I'm going to miss my train. Which platform was it? Hello, Mr Grumpy. Oh, no, not you. I'm terribly late, you know. I'm on my way to sea town. You know, it's a lovely place where the sky is blue, the sea is green, and there are lots of boats. I love sailing. Oh. The sea air is so bracing. Oh. The train, Miss Chatterbox, the train. Ah, oh, me too. I just love trains. Am I wrong? Perhaps you don't uh, like trains. The train for sea town, it's leaving right now. Mr Grumpy jumped on the train just in time. Really? You might have told me, Mr. Grumpy. Well, I would have if you weren't such a windbag. Oh! How dare you speak to me like that? Because you're full of hot air. Place, isn't it? Oh, it's such a lovely place, and I always want to go in there. But there's no horse there. Out the poor gate. Oh, I love the place. The way I'm playing, I was there. But there's no horse there. Out the gate. Oh, I love the place. And that's not all. But I must go now. Oh, dear, 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 Mr. Fussy, you're all covered in ice cream. I never would have thought that someone as fussy as you could get in such a mess. <laughs> Mr. Dizzy. Oh, hello, Miss Tickle. Look at this sandcastle. Oh, you silly Billy. You have to put sand in the bucket to make sandcastles. Oh, it's been a pleasure chatting with you, Mr Dizzy. Have a good holiday and uh, make sure you don't get some. <laughs> I'm a true sailor. What's more, it runs in the family. <laughs> they used to be all rules <laughs> That will do, Miss Chatterbox. We're in the middle of a race. Sit down over there and keep quiet. It's a disaster. The wind has dropped. We're at a standstill. Excuse me, but I come from a family of sailors, and, and my great uncle, who was a famous admiral, used to... Please shut up. Wait a minute. Uh, can't you see? When she speaks, it creates a breeze. Tell me about the admiral, little Miss Chatterbox. Oh, but of course. Well, he used to say that we all took everything to go, and then what is it down here? What? Oh, all right, I was a The Admiral, my great uncle, he used to fart this in colour. My aunt used to eat raw herring. Excuse me, but I come from a family of sailors, and, and my great uncle, who was a famous Admiral, used to say. The winner of today's regatta are Mr. Grumpy, Little Miss Busy, and their new teammate, Little Miss Chatterbox, to whom I present the cup. <laughs> huh? I told you, you're full of hot air. And now you've proved it. <laughs> I do believe she's lost for words. <laughs> Bye. 
Mr. Lazy takes an afternoon nap. Mr. Lazy is on holiday, enjoying his favorite sport of all, napping. I am very sorry. Attention, attention! The tide is coming in. Kindly move up the beach. Well, well, it's Mr. Lazy. Ah, oh, he's still asleep. I better take him back to shore. <laughs> Go and play somewhere else, children. Stupid, that is in my way, little Miss Splendid. I can't see a thing. I'll have you know that this is my best boating hat, Mr. Grumble. I really don't know why I agreed to take her out on my boat. Where shall I drop you off? <laughs> For goodness sake, I can't see, little Miss Splendid. You should watch where you're going. And who's this old sleepy head here? You mean you don't recognize him? It's Mr. Lazy, of course. What a day. I've had enough. Oh, dear. What's that? It looks like a shark. 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 <laughs> Yummy lunch. Oh! Less noise, please, children. I'm sleeping. You. Oh. Oh. Oh, we're safe now. Land at last. Yeah. This isn't much of an island. No sand, no tree. Hello, oh, everyone. Oh, a talking island. Just my luck. But uh, it's a whale. Mr. Whale, take us home and be quick about it. With pleasure. Hold tight, everyone. Mr. Lazy is really incredible. Nothing on earth can wake him up. What? Land ahoy! Thank, oh, thank you, you, Mr. Mr. Whale. Whale. Thank you, Mr. Whale. Don't forget your friend. Well, now, children, I don't find your tricks funny.
Mr. Brave versus Coco the Gorilla. Mr. Brave, is that mm. Mr. Brave? This is Mrs. Cage at the zoo. Something terrible has happened. Coco the giant gorilla has escaped. Please come quickly. We need your help. Oh, dear, oh dear. Oh. What? Don't move. We're coming. They found Coco. He's in Mrs. Green's shop. Let's go. <laughs> We're pleased you're here, Mr. Brave. Where is he? Over there. <laughs> He's turned my shop upside down. <laughs> Yeah, and he's eaten all the food I bought. <laughs> Mr. Brave, in you go. Ooh. Me? Oh, right. Ooh. Be careful, he's dangerous. Dangerous? Oh. <laughs> now, now, who's going to be a good gorilla? Go back to his cage Ooh. quietly. Ah! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Tra la la, tra la 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 la. Tra la la, tra la 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 la. Are you quite all right, Mr. Brave? No, not too bad. Where's Coco? He went towards Miss Splendid's house. Off you go, Mr. Brave. Good luck, Mr. Brave. Good luck. Who? Me? Right. Do be careful, Mr. Brave. Miss Splendid. It's far too quiet for my liking. Look, he's there, on the roof. Hold on, Miss Splendid, I'm coming. Help! Someone! Oh, I, Help! I you missed! I... Now, come on, Coco, don't be silly. Let Miss Splendid go. <laughs> ah! Just wait, Coco. I'm not quite finished with you yet. Oh, oh my goodness! Good thing I go jogging every morning. Come on, Coco. It's lunchtime. Oh. Quickly, Mr. Greedy, lie down. My hat! My hair! My goodness! And what about my hat? I hope it's not ruined. Well done, Mr. Strong. <laughs> Good boy. <laughs> look, it's for you. <laughs> oh. oh, look, there's another one. <laughs> They're all for you. Oh. So, no hard feelings? No hard feelings, Mr. Brave. It was jolly good fun, but I'd rather be back in the zoo. The bananas there are much better. To my rescue. Hooray! Hooray! That was very brave, the way you faced up to that gorilla, Mr. Brave. <laughs> it was nothing, really. All I had to do was... <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong, Mr. Brave? There, on the table, a spider. Oh, I hate spiders.
Little Miss Naughty goes skiing. Hello, Miss Wise. Do you recognise me? I'm Miss Naughty. <laughs> and how can I help you, Miss Naughty? I'd like a return ticket to the High Peaks. I'm going skiing. I'll have your ticket ready right away, Miss Naughty. She's much too serious. <laughs> it's time for a little fun. Here you are. Have a good trip. <laughs> Mr. Wherry is worried. Mr. Dizzy is worried. Even little Miss Splendid is worried. And why are they worried? Because they are all going on a skiing holiday with little Miss Naughty. You're very kind, Miss Naughty. Don't mention it, Mr. Dizzy. <laughs> oh, oh, how do I stop? Oh, oh. I never realized skiing was so easy. Oh. Is this safe, Miss Naughty? I don't like heights, you see. Oh. You don't think I'll fall over up there, do you? Of course not. Why don't you enjoy the scenery instead of fretting? Liven things up a bit. <laughs> Look, Fifi, everybody thinks I'm beautiful. Lesson. We have to teach her a lesson. Yes, we, we must uh, teach her a lesson. The holiday is over and it's time to head back home. I'm uh, thirsty. I'm going to get something to drink. I'll go with you. Me too. Oh, I will then. I'll go too. Oh, don't bother. We'll bring you back something. <laughs> They're taking their time. They're going to miss the train. <laughs> bye, bye. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty funny, I admit. But they don't call me Miss Naughty for nothing. Well done, Mr. Dizzy. Miss Naughty is on the overnight train to Cold Land. That joke we played on Miss Naughty has given me an appetite. I've got some sandwiches in my bag. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I could see their faces now. Tickets, please. Oh, oh no!
Little Miss Dotty goes to home farm. There's nothing unusual about knitting with your feet when you're called Little Miss Dotty. Hmm, I'm all pins and needles. I should go and stretch my legs. <laughs> I know, I'll pay a visit to Little Miss Tiny at home farm. Idea and so good for your skin. Oh, please help me out on here. I must say, I was thirsty. The farmer has gone away on a holiday. He has left me in charge of a farm, but I can't manage all alone. Isn't that right, Mr. Pig? Poor thing. He was all pink before, but I'm just too small to wash him. You're right. He needs brightening up. The rooster has become a lazy good-for-nothing. He won't crow in the morning, he sleeps all day, and the hens aren't laying. Oh. Same with the donkey. He refuses to do anything. I can't even make deliveries to the market. Fun time! Wakey, wakey! This is no time to be waking good people up! Get her out of here! Thank you, ladies. Little Miss Tiny will be pleased. Not bad, eh? Yes, but something's missing. You're right. Miss Tiny, I are you there? I've, I've come to give you a hand. Why, Mr. Dizzy, perhaps you could help Miss Dotty. She's working wonders here at the farm. to play blind man's buff. Now, you have to try to catch us, Mr. Oh. Dizzy. <laughs> yeah, oh, Mr. Dizzy, catch me if you can. <laughs> right, your turn now, Mr. Donkey. Try to catch Mr. Dizzy. Hee-haw, hee-haw. Oh. Hey, little Miss Dotty, don't go yet. You haven't finished painting me. That's not on at all. Oh. Good old Miss Dotty.
Mr. Nonsense's strange illness. I wonder what's going on. There's nobody in the street today. Hmm? Miss Late, why are you running so fast? Oh dear. Oh dear, Miss Scatterbrain. I'm late. I'm late for the Nonsense Land competition, and it's about to begin. The Nonsense Land competition? Oh, my goodness, I had completely forgotten. That's the one for the most nonsensical idea. Uh, who do you think will win? Oh, uh, Mr. Nonsense, as usual. Meanwhile, in Nonsense Land, Mr. Nonsense was playing cards with his two best friends, Little Miss Dotty and Mr. Silly. It's your turn, Miss Dotty. Yes! <laughs> it's your turn, Mr. Silly. Yep! <laughs> My friends, we still have an hour before the Nonsense Land competition begins. How about a game of tennis? Mr. Nonsense, yeah, Mr. Nonsense. I'm oh. so sorry. Oh, Mr. Nonsense, how do you feel? Oh, fine, perfectly fine. Thank you very much. What's he doing here? Pigs don't play tennis. <laughs> but Mr. Nonsense. But Mr. Nonsense, this is Nonsense Land. Nonsense Land? What on earth are you talking about? I am not Mr. Nonsense. Hmm? Yeah, not Mr. Nonsense. <laughs> Why, that's utter nonsense. <laughs> this is terrible. Oh, poor Mr. Nonsense. He has lost his memory. Meanwhile, the Nonsense Land competition had begun under the watchful eye of Little Miss Brainy, the judge. <laughs> Mr. Quiet, what is your nonsensical idea? It's a radio that makes no noise. <laughs> Mr. Lazy. Oh, it's an alarm clock with no hands. So, so I don't have to wake up. Oh. Mr. Nonsense. I am not Mr. Nonsense. No, Mr. Uh, uh, don't you recognize your own house? My house? You must be joking. Only birds oh. live in trees. Meanwhile, contestants who hope to win the Nonsense Land competition continue to file on stage. Mr. Bounce. <laughs> we still have one last contestant, but I do not see him. Where is Mr. Nonsense? So, what is your nonsensical idea, Mr. Nonsense? But, 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 uh, I'm not Mr. Nonsense. You are not Mr. Nonsense? No, I am not Mr. Nonsense. <laughs> that is the silliest idea I've heard all afternoon. Congratulations, Mr. Nonsense. Oh. You win this year's Nonsense oh. Land Cup. <laughs> Okay, Mr. Nonsense. Uh, yes, thank you, Miss Dotty. But I do feel a bit hungry. <laughs> what would you like to eat, Mr. Nonsense? A toasted custard sandwich. A toasted custard sandwich? You're cured, Mr. Nonsense. <laughs> yes, you are right. You're cured. Oh, All right. <laughs>
Mr. Mean hasn't a penny left. Contrary to popular opinion, Mr. Mean is actually a very rich man. Very rich indeed. The problem is, he simply hates spending his money. Every evening, just before bedtime, Mr. Mean enjoys his only moment of pleasure. Two hundred and four, two hundred and five, two hundred and five, two hundred <laughs> But one morning, I have no friends. And I have an idea. I'll invite one or two people over for lunch. I hate having to spend my precious money on food. <laughs> Meanwhile, Mr. Nosy is also out for a stroll. Help. Why, Mr. Mean isn't home. How very strange. I'd better go and see what's going on. Oh. Oh, it's only money. Oh, little Miss Magic has spotted Mr. Nosy. Oh, it's Mr. Nosy. <laughs> I think he needs to be taught a lesson. <gasps> Morning, Mr. Nosy. Uh, Miss Magic, uh, but what did you do with his money? Oh, I just magicked it out of harm's way. It's lunchtime and Mr. Mean's guests have arrived. Mr. Skinny, Mr. Strong, Mr. Perfect, Mr. Slow, Little Miss Magic, and oh, there he is, Mr. Nosy. There we are. It's ready. I hope you all like spaghetti. Is that enough, Mr. Skinny? Uh, that's fine. I, I'm not sure I'll manage to finish it. How's that, Mr. Perfect? Just perfect. I had lunch just before coming, you know. I wonder why Mr. Lazy isn't here yet. Yes, it is strange. He told me he was afraid of falling asleep on the way, so I lent him my steamroller. My house! Oh, my lovely house! Oh, no. It's going to cost me an absolute fortune to rebuild it. My money! Where is my money? <laughs> ah! My money's been stolen. Help me. Stop me. <laughs> Poor Mr. Bean seems to have fainted. We really must do something. <laughs> so they all set about rebuilding Mr. Bean's house. Mr. Strong. Mr. Skinny. Not forgetting Mr. Slow. And Mr. Nosy. <laughs> As for Little Miss Magic, she took care of the garden. Oh, Mr. Perfect, where am I? It's your new house, Mr. Bean. So, Mr. Bean, don't you like it? Yes, but it must have cost a fortune and I haven't a penny left. But it's a present from all of us. Oh, thank you, my friends. Thanks to you, I've understood what a marvellous thing it is to have friends. Mr. Mean, Mr. Mean! Mm. Look what I found in your cellar. Goodness me, Mr. Nosy. You never give up, do you? But, 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 but. Well, for once, Mr. Nosy's nosiness isn't such a bad mm. thing after all. Thank you so much, Mr. Nosy. Thanks to you, my friends, I have a brand new house and my money back. To show you how grateful I am, I shall give each of you a... a coin. <laughs> one for Mr. Skinny. One for Mr. Strong. One for Mr. Perfect. Pretty cheap for a new house, wouldn't you say? <laughs> There's no doubt about it. Mr. Mean will never change. <laughs>
Little Miss Wise's day out at the fun fair. Here's a very pretty dress, which will look perfect on Little Miss Naughty. Hello, Little Miss Wise. What good timing, Miss Naughty. I've just finished your dress. It's rather plain, isn't it? It's very practical, and it suits you very well. <laughs> oh! Actually, it's quite a nice dress. And to thank you, I'm going to take you to the fun fair. Are you sure that's wise? <laughs> it's late. I must go home. Oh, no, you can't do that. There are dozens of other rides I want you to try. You go ahead, and we'll see who gets to the exit first. Off you go, then. <gasps> oh. Oof. Let's see now. I'm sure I have to turn right. Here. Mr Dizzy, what are you doing here? I just can't find a way out. I've been in here for three days. Give me your hand. I'll show you the exit. That was quick. I really must be off now. It's getting late. Not without going for a spin on the dodgems. Here, I bought you a stick of yummy candy floss. <laughs> There's Mr. Crumble. Oh, she's gone crazy. Let's go and annoy him. If they think they can scare me with their silly ghosts. Due to a technical problem, the ghost train will remain stationary for a short while. I think I'll stretch my legs. <laughs> oh. Now, keep calm. I just have to follow the tracks. <laughs> if they think they can scare me with their silly ghosts. <gasps> oh, dear. Which way shall I go? Let's try this way. <laughs> Goodness, Mr. Worry. What are you doing here? Waiting for the next train, but I'm worried. I've been waiting here for hours. <laughs> oh! Tickets, please. Oh. Oh, dear. I've lost my ticket. That's a shame. You can't get on the train without a ticket. Oh, please, help me. I'll buy him another ticket. All right. But you'll have to pay an excess fare. Goodbye. Have a good trip. <laughs> All aboard! There is just one more ride I would really love you to go on. No, really. I must be off now. <laughs> you haven't seen anything yet, Miss Wise. <laughs> I knew it wasn't such a good idea to come to the fun fair.
Mr. Grumble's Holiday. Oh, another awful day. Can't wait till it's over. Darn miserable weather again. You wouldn't know it, but today Mr. Grumble is going on holiday. You'd think he'd be so happy. But no, he's in a grumbly mood, as usual. Who is it and what do you want? Hello, Mr. Grumble. As you're off on holiday, I've brought you some delicious cakes to eat on your journey. Would you like me to make some breakfast for you? Some hot chocolate, perhaps? I hate hot chocolate and I hate silly cakes. How far away is this stupid hotel? No. Oh, that's a wonderful start. I hate palm trees. Did you have a good trip, sir? No, it was too long. So where's the room I reserved? The one with the sea view? Follow mm. me, sir. Oh, I hate lifts. I'd rather walk up. Oh! This is our best suite, complete with a sea view. Well, where's the sea, then? The beach is right at your feet. But I don't like the beach. I wanted cliffs. <laughs> Oh, shut that door. You're letting in a draft. Can't you be more careful, Mr. Bump? Where's my breakfast? Oh, I hate croissants. I hate bread rolls. I hate bacon and eggs. Oh, it's horrible. <coughs> and I hate noise at breakfast time. <coughs> There are loads of holes here. They're gonna wreck my wheels. Help! <laughs> Where on earth is he? I owe you my life, Mr. Grumble. You owe me a pair of roller skates. Thanks to you, mine are at the bottom of the sea. Well, I'd buy you a brand new pair and we'll go skating together. I feel so much safer with you. <laughs> That's all I need. Alone at last. I'm coming fishing with you. Oh, no way. Go back to shore, I want to be alone. He's doing it again. Leaving already? The sooner the better. <gasps> Wait for me. <gasps> I almost missed you. <laughs> Oh, what a miserable day. Oh, oh! What am I going to do without him? He brings me such good luck. He's at last after such an awful, tiring holiday. Rotten weather again. Will it never stop? Hello, Mr. Grumble. Oh. Did you have a nice holiday? It was awful. What a shame. Well, to cheer you up, I've brought you some raspberries. I hate raspberries.
Little Miss Greedy's strange illness. Miss Greedy has been invited to tea at Miss Bossy's house, so she has decided to take along some sweets Is as a gift. Licorice? Strawberry bonbons, oh, jelly crocodiles, marshmallows, <laughs> mm. toffee, candy curls. <laughs> mm. And could you deliver them to Miss Bosses at five o'clock precisely, please? Certainly. More tea for anyone? Oh, no, thank you. I don't drink tea anymore. No tea? Well, I'll get you some orange juice. I know you'll laugh, <laughs> but tea makes me fat. <laughs> It's not tea that makes people fat, it's sweets. Tea makes my skin glow like a buttercup. Hooray! <coughs> it's not tea, it's sweets. Sweets, you say? That's right! I never touch sweets. <laughs> oh, missed. Do you think sweets would make me fat, too? They rot your teeth. Sweets are bad for you. Huh? This is from Miss Greedy. I didn't ask for any presents. It's a surprise. Oh, no. I don't believe it. Oh, chocolate eclair. My favourite. <laughs> Give me those horrid things and I'll get rid of them. Horrid sweets. Absolutely horrid. More tea for anyone? Oh, you've done enough, Miss Bossy. Uh, why don't you let me do it? Put the milk in the cups first. It's my turn. No. Not there. Mm, I wonder. Oh, yummy! Sweet! Wonderful sweet! Isn't tea ready yet? Whatever is taking you so long, it's your turn to play. It's coming! It's coming! Oh, I'm feeling a little heavy. Just the thing. Oh, I'm so thirsty. It is spinning. Oh, I've got tummy ache. You wouldn't have tummy ache if you'd had a cup of tea. Food poisoning. That's what it is. We must get a doctor. It's terrible. I'm going to complain. Hello, doctor. It's an emergency. Hello, police. Help. Hello? Orangeola Fruit Juice Company? Hello, Mr. Mayor. Little Miss Greedy is most definitely unwell, but we know it's not the fruit juice, don't we? Uh, uh, Miss Greedy? Uh, uh, Miss Greedy, wake uh, up! You're in the newspaper. The orange juice mystery. Miss Greedy poisoned by a glass of orange juice. The Orangeola Fruit Juice Company has decided to take all its produce off the shelves. Hmm? Hello, Miss Greedy. Look, to apologise, <laughs> the Orangeola Fruit Juice Company has sent you your weight in sweets. Oh, no!
Mr. Slow takes the lead. This year, Mr. Slow didn't want to miss the skiing season. You see, last year, the snow had all melted by the time he arrived. But Mr. Slow isn't the only one going to the mountains. Now you all recognize Mr. Noisy, don't you? And Little Miss Splendid, Mr. Uppity, and last but not least, Mr. Rush. Come on, do get a move on. Come on, I'm in a hurry. Come on, quick, quick, quick. I really can't go any faster. I'm at full speed as it is. You really are undying, Mr. Slow. People like you shouldn't be allowed on the roads. Come along, man. For heaven's sake, hurry up. Get along with you. Mr. Slow continues along his way, slowly but surely. <laughs> oh, goody, goody, the slopes, the speed, the giant slaloms. We've finally arrived at about time to get a move on, driver. I do hope I haven't left my sun cream behind. Well, I never. A late arrival. Peekaboo, Mr. Slur. A peekaboo, little Miss Lake. Several hours later, our friends were still stuck. But why can't they just clear the road? This is outrageous. Useless specimens. Three hours less sunbathing already. My friends will all have better suntans than me. <laughs> How nice. For once, I won't be late. Well done, Mr. Slow. You're such a hero. Make way, make way. Here comes the World Speed Champion. Ooh. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Oh. Everyone seemed to be having fun. But wait a minute. Where had little Miss Lake got to? You see, she was patiently waiting for Mr. Slow, who still hadn't arrived. A whole week had gone by. The holiday was over. But can you guess who arrives just at this moment? But, Mr. Slow, the holiday's over. Thank goodness I'm not too late. <laughs> what on earth do you mean? Everyone has already left. Yes, but <laughs> it's the first time I've seen the mountains with snow on them. <laughs> I really did hurry, you know. So, shall we go home now? That was the most wonderful holiday of my life. You're welcome to pass. Do be my guest. I wouldn't like to make you late. But, Mr. Slow, I'm in no hurry. And so Mr. Slow spent the happiest holiday of his life. For not only had he seen the mountains covered in snow, but thanks to his friend, Little Miss Late, he was driving in front.
Mr. Perfect Goes West. There, that is perfect. Now I'm all set to watch tonight's movie. I must find the gold mine. What fun! I love cowboy films. I'd like to find a gold mine as well. Mr. Perfect has fallen asleep. He's probably dreaming of gold mines in the Wild West. <laughs> what eat? Luckily, we're nearly there. <laughs> Go on, Mr. Dizzy. You show him how to dance. Uh, wait, 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 doggy, wait, don't, don't, don't stay. Oh, oh I, I have to get off. I'm supposed to meet the boss at the station. <laughs> well, at least you're off. <laughs> Hardly relaxing her, huh, is it? Oh. Mm, well, I'd best take you straight to the gold mine. Thank you, Mr. Dizzy, but first a spot of lunch would seem in order. Perhaps in that charming saloon. It looks nice and quiet in there. <laughs> Gentlemen. A strawberry milkshake and a donut, please. <laughs> and would you like a bib with that, sir? Excellent idea. Nice, nice, nice man. Oh, yeah, yeah. Always there when you need him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. So, how's the milkshake? <laughs> Perfect. Your hair is very untidy. A drop of maple syrup should do the trick. Look at yourself now. Oh, dear. Perfect. It's time to go to the mine. Did I hear what I think I heard? I think he said something about a gold mine. Get up, you band of layabouts. After them. The mine is in Indian territory. Oh, perfect. <laughs> what did he say? I think he likes your hair, boss. He wishes he had a scalp like yours. I'll make his hair look as good as mine. <laughs> Very nice. Wow. <laughs> See, just perfect. He even left me these. Welcome to the gold mine, boss. Oh, look, it's the gentleman from the bar. I think they want to steal my gold. Do you have another perfect idea, boss? Do you guys see what I see? The Indians are about to attack. Let's get out of here. Your cries and smoke signals were absolutely perfect, but you can stop now, Mr. Dizzy. Oh, no. This hat isn't going to protect me from the rain. That really was a most perfect dream.
Little Miss Magic to the rescue. What a lovely sunny day. I'll do some gardening. Shed door open. Lawn mower start and cut the grass. Well, that didn't take long. Now Miss Magic has plenty of time for a walk and a chat with her neighbours. Is something wrong, Mr Strong? Yes, there is, Miss Magic. I just opened this gate, forgot how strong I am and broke it loose. I wish I wasn't so strong. I'll make your wish come true, Mr Strong. Make Mr Strong weak. <laughs> Bye, Mr Strong. Just as Miss Magic had promised, oh. Mr Strong's wish came true. You look very sad, Mr. Small. Can I help you? I'm so small I can't even climb over this little wall. I wish I was tall. Let Mr. Small be tall. As Miss Magic continued her walk, she smiled to herself. Two sad Mr. Men, Mr. Strong and Mr. Small, must certainly be happy now. Oh, Mr. Forgetful, how are you? How uh, am I? How how uh, am I? Oh, oh uh, well, uh, oh, oh, I wish I could remember everything. No problem. Mr. Forgetful, remember everything. Oh, dear. I forgot to turn the lights off at home. Oh, no. I forgot to get the shopping. Oh, oh my, how could I forget? I've invited everyone to my house for tea. I must get home quickly. Oh, I can't get through. Oh, I can't get through. Can't get through what, Mr Greedy? Can't get through my own front gate, Miss Magic. Oh, oh I wish I was thin. No problem. Mr Greedy, lose some weight. Oh. That's enough magic for one morning. It's time I went home for lunch. Very trim. <laughs> Very elegant. <laughs> I don't believe this. Are you really going to give up pies and cakes and sausages and ooh, ice cream and hamburgers and... Oh. What will I do with all this food? Egg, boil. Bread, toast. Butter, spread. Hello. What can I do for you? Please, Miss Magic, change us back to the way we were. I'm too weak to open my front door. My house is too small to live in. I have too many things to remember, Miss Magic. I, I'd rather forget. My kitchen is filled with delicious food and all, and I'm not a bit hungry. Don't worry. I'll put things right. And from now on, Remember how good it is to be you. Let all the Mr. Men be themselves. Oh, oh. Oh, yeah, it must be time for lunch. Or tea. Or dinner. Or supper. <laughs> On all four at the same time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Door closed. <sighs> Door open. Yes, Mr. Forgetful. Uh, I, I, I've forgotten. Uh, oh, oh, did you invite me round for tea?
Mr. Silly's Silly Secret. If you have ever been to Nonsense Land, you know it is full of silly-looking houses. But the silliest one belongs to Mr. Silly. <gasps> oh, a bright sunny day. Lovely weather for a walk into town. I think I'll take a bus. <laughs> But he didn't wait at the bus stop. No, he waited at the lamppost. Here comes a bus now. When you want to travel on a bus, Mr. Silly, please, wait at a bus stop, just like all the other Mr. Men do. But Mr. Silly isn't like all the other Mr. Men. Maybe there was another way to travel, a silly way. Suddenly, he had a great idea. I must hurry home and get to work. Miss Helpful was out walking when she heard some strange noises coming from Mr. Silly's garden shed. Hello, Mr. Silly. Is that you? Gosh! What do you think? It's a brilliant idea. Can I help? Well... I could squirt <laughs> some. <laughs> oh. Thank you. <laughs> Goodbye, Miss Helpful. Mr. Silly went back to work. And he was so busy, he didn't hear his next visitor, Mr. Nosey. I say, Mr. Silly! Oh, 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 oh. What are you making? Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> you cannot be silly. How silly. Mr. Silly went back to work. And before long, I finished. Just wait until everyone sees this. <laughs> that is the funniest car I've ever seen. <laughs> it's, it, it's the um, uh, 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 silliest uh, car I've ever seen. It may look like a silly car, but he won't have any trouble finding it after he's done his shopping. As Mr. Silly went into the big store, the sun hid behind the clouds and snow began to fall. Meanwhile, Mr. Silly bought a clock that went backwards. A new shower cap <laughs> and one Wellington boot. <laughs> Outside, all the roads were white with snow and all the buses and cars were stuck. They couldn't move. Well, not every car. Mr. Silly's car wasn't troubled by the deep snow. And when he came to the bus stop... Hello! Come near! Anyone want a lift? I take it all back. Uh, this is a very um, a, a sensible car. <laughs> I say Mr. Silly has the last laugh. <laughs> His silly looking car isn't so silly after all. <laughs> And so, the same people who had been laughing at Mr. Silly's car now thought it wasn't so silly after all. And so, Mr. Silly was the hero of all of Mr. Lang. He even had his picture and story on the front page of the newspaper. <laughs> silly, Mr. Silly.
Mr. Tickle saves the day. It was a very sad day for Mr. Tickle. Usually he was such a cheerful fellow, but he hadn't smiled all morning. Nobody likes me anymore, and all I did was tickle them a little. A little? Do you know how many people Mr. Tickle tickled yesterday? First, he tickled Mr. Chips, the carpenter. Oh, forgive me. <laughs> Oh! Then he tickled Mrs. Crumb, the baker. <laughs> Stop it, Mr. Tickle! <laughs> then he tickled Miss Shy, just as she was about to say something. Oh dear, I think I'm about to say something. Oh, <laughs> oh dear, goodbye. So it went on. All day, Mr. Tickle just couldn't stop tickling people. <laughs> Until finally, everyone in Mr. Land had had enough. Well, see if I care. Not far away, Tess was having a lovely time with the new ball her granny had given her. Of course I can. I know just what to do. I'll have it down in no time. Almost there. If I can just... Uh... <laughs> oh, I've got it. Stand by below. Oh, thank you, Mr. Small. Oh, dear. I think I'm stuck. Uh, uh... Where are you, Mr. Small? I'm up here. Where? I'm here! I'm up here! Luckily, some of Tessa's other friends happened to be passing. I know what to do! Oh, thank you, Mr. Bounce. I knew you'd think of something. The trouble is, I can't quite reach the right spot. I've got the answer. Thank you, Miss Magic. I knew you'd think of something. <laughs> Very clever, Miss Magic, but it doesn't get me down, does it? Stand back, everyone. Leave this to me. Oh, good old Mr. Strong. I knew you'd have an idea. No, no, stop, stop. Please, please, stop. I'll fall. Will somebody please think of a way to get me down? I know what, said Little Miss Sunshine suddenly, and everyone listened. Yoo-hoo, Mr. Tickle. We need your help. It's about... Mr. Small, you see, he's stuck up a tree. Mm. And after they had all asked him to lend a hand, he did. <laughs> oh, thank you, Mr. Tickle. What would I have done without you? What would any of us do without Mr. Tickle? And everyone agreed. Hooray, Hooray Mr. Tickle! Nice man. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Always there when you need him, yeah. And as a special treat, they allowed him to tickle them. <laughs> Just the one.
Mr. Chatterbox and the Parrot. On a branch in a tree outside Mr. Quiet's bedroom window, a parrot came to live. Pretty Polly, pretty Polly, who's a lovely boy, Dad? I haven't had a good night's sleep in weeks. I haven't had a good night's sleep in weeks. Now, not far away lived Mr. Chatterbox, one of Mr. Quiet's neighbours. Ah, oh, Mr. Sponge, that is a beautiful polished window, if I may say so. Well, I mean, so. When I say polished, I mean polished. In fact, of all the polished windows I've ever seen in my time, and believe you me, I've seen some polished windows. Oh, yes, let me tell you. Well, I am too. And Mr. Chatterbox, being Mr. Chatterbox, would talk to just about anyone. Really? About anything. Morning, Worm. I was just telling the window cleaner that the thing about windows is that you can see right through them. Ah, oh, the postman. Come in, postman. Did I ever tell you about the time I wrote a letter to the Queen? In fact, Mr Chatterbox was becoming really rather a nuisance. Oh, Mr Strong, I thought it was you. Are those eggs you've got in your basket? I love eggs. Boiled eggs, fried eggs, scrambled eggs, all toast, off toast with bacon. Come inside. I'll tell you about the time I woke up in the night and thought I was a toast egg. In fact, the situation was becoming really quite serious. You see, it wasn't that Mr. Chatterbox meant to be a nuisance. He just couldn't stop talking. Goodness me, is that the time? I have just a few minutes to tell you about my new wristwatch. Now, this penny really went on and on and on. That night, a meeting was held in the town hall. Miss Bossy was in charge. Shut up! I'm in charge! All those who think Mr Chatterbox talks too much, put your hands up. Come on, Mr Muddle, hurry up. <coughs> Everyone agrees, then. But how do we get him to stop? That's what I'd like to know. Yeah, well, I don't know. Me, too. Hey, me, three! Me, four! That was good. And he made me miss my lunch the other day. <laughs> Shut up, everyone! Shut up! And listen to me! Has anyone got an idea? Has anyone got an idea? But no one could think of one. No one, that is, except for someone who was rather um, shy. Uh, sorry, um, <clears throat> uh, well, I don't suppose this is a very good idea. Do get on with it, Miss Shy. We haven't got all night. Uh, sorry, Miss Bossy. Um, it's like this, you see. I have a friend called Mr Quiet. He lives up the road not far from here. And little house. Miss Shy told everyone her plan. <laughs> and everyone was very impressed. The following day, when Mr. Quiet looked out of his bedroom window, he noticed that something was different. Uh, Mr. Quiet, come here. Good morning, Miss Shy. Uh, did you sleep well? Very well indeed. Thank you. And then Mr. Quiet realised what it was. Oh, the parrot's gone. It's all lovely and quiet again. Meanwhile, for Mr. Chatterbox, everything was anything but quiet. So, I said to the policeman, I'm not speeding. Not speeding? Not speeding? Out? Good gracious, no, 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 you cannot be serious. Cannot be serious! Cannot be serious! No. Yes, 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 yes. Let's fix the picture. Fix the picture! Fix the picture! And they went on and on and on. Until the parrot had had enough, and he put Mr Chatterbox to bed. Good night, Polly. Good night, Mr Chatterbox. Good night, Mr Chatterbox.